In today's video, here is a, a very nice and quick number theory problem. Here is the following setup for all n as an h number. We have n factorial plus number 7 is a perfect cube. Find all solutions n as an h number. Okay, now let's go through this one. So we are saying n factorial plus number 7 is a perfect cube. We are going to write this one on this form x cubed. Okay, this kind of the problems we are dealing with usually using the congruence notion here. The congruence is going to help us to solve this one. Let's choose some common divisor which can reduce this equation to the smallest possible expression in order to find the remainders of, for both sides of this equation. Okay, if you find the similar remainders from the left and the right, that means the, the, the equation is accepting the solution. If the, the, we have the different remainders, which means the equation doesn't accept any solution, okay? So the convenient, the appropriate mod here, which we can use here, we are going to use the mod 9. Because nine, mod 9 is working with x cubed here, okay? Let's go through the charts first. Let's check the following values. Let's check, let's check this one in general. Let's put this one k, k cubed, okay? Let's put the following values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. Let's reduce this one to the mod 9. Okay? So for this one, 0 stays 0, 1 stays 1, 2 will, will be 8. 8 is 1 less than 9, which is minus 1, mod 9. Okay? For 3, I get 3 cubed, which is 27. 27 is strictly is 0. 4 cubed, which is 64. 64. We know 9 is multiplied by 7 is 63, which means we have 1 more 63. Okay? Let's check 5. 5 cubed, which is 125. It's hard to do it in this way. Let's do another technique. Let's un use another trick to reduce the stomach 9. So we have 125. Okay? Because 25 is multiplied by 5. Okay? <coughs> we know also 25. 25 is 27 minus 2 is multiplied by 5. So if you reduce this one to mod 9, 27 will be, will be 0. It will be left with minus 2, is multi minus 2 is multiplied by 5, which is minus 10. Minus 10, if I'm going to add 9 on both sides, I get minus 1. This one is a concurrent to minus 1, mod 9. So let's put here minus 1. So we are going to... We are going to stop here. This is enough because we have kind of repeating here, kind of pattern. 0, 1, mi 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1. The next chunk will have the next part of these values. It gets 0, 1, minus 1, and so on and so forth. This one is going to be written on this form all, all the way down, okay? So this one, k cubed, is belongs to this set. We have minus 1, 0, 1 only as a reminder. So this is the only reminders when you divide a key cubed over 9, you get this reminders minus 1 or 0 or 1. Okay. Now let's using let's take this advantage of this one and apply it on this equation. Before we do that, let's check if n is super equal to 9. Okay n factorial equals n is multiplied by n minus number 1, n minus 2, and all the way down to 9, okay? If I'm trying to reduce this one to mod 9, this one is a congruent to 0 mod 9, okay? But we get a remainder 0 for n factorial, but we have plus 7 here, but we have number 7. I'm going to add number 7 on this one, so I get here n factorial plus 7 is a congruent to 0 plus 7 is a congruent to this one to the x cubed mod 9 okay so finally we get n factorial plus number 7 is a congruent to 7 is a congruent to x cubed mod 9 but the remainder, but the remainder of this one, which is x cubed, it was minus one or zero or one. 
so they have a different reminders which means this one it's impossible we have no solutions for any super for all n is super to 9 thus n must be strictly inferior than 9 which means n is going to be in this set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay now let's go through each one replacing all of these values whatever you find this one is a perfect cube which means is a solution okay if you're going to check that we are taking as a natural number we start with number one so by checking that eight doesn't work seven doesn't work six doesn't work five doesn't work four doesn't work three doesn't work number two is doesn't work this one it works okay let's check this one here i get here one factorial plus number seven which is eight which is two cubed okay so we found n equals one is the only solution for this equation so i have done with this problem by the way don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel and thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day bye